What's up, y'all? Uh, this is uh, Chris, co-host Liquid. Um, no funny thing for Liquid today. I um, just couldn't. We just we were rocked today at the microtransaction. Um, I'm sorry. It's just hard to work through this. Just something happened. Me or Liquid just didn't expect to happen. But uh. I almost can't say it, but I had to be strong now. Because you, you guys, me and Liquid have talked about this over and over again, how we just, we had to give the hard news. Like, that's why we started the channel. I think Liquid can agree. Um, they delayed the new God of War. Now, I know. It hurts when you say it a, a second time and a third time. And a fourth uh, time. It just, it just hurts more and more the more you say it, you know? Bro, who are they kidding, bro? Get out of here, bro! Get out of here! Get all this sad jazz out of here, dude! Team No Sleeves, baby. Let's get these, bro, get these sleeves no, off of please. me. Jesus Christ. Who were they kidding? Yeah, who, who, like, yeah. Who, who the fuck were they fooling? We all knew this shit was going to happen. We all knew it was going to be delayed. They didn't show any gameplay. Like, come on. Bro, it is the most, like... It's just ridiculous. Like, they said it, and people are aghast. I'm like, who? who, How? who? How? Yeah. Are you new? Oh, man. Anyway, what's up, guys? I had a fun there. I hope you enjoyed Bro, honestly, I, I was a little proud of myself halfway through that intro. I'm like, I am doing a good job. I and I was like, I could just say it, and I'm like, I'm going to add a little tension. I went a little it went a little longer than I thought it would. So that was pretty I You do. I, mean, I started feeling yeah, it. You know what I'm saying? No, that was good. Cool All right, watch. so proper with up, y'all. Uh, Chris and Liquid, we already did the rigmarole. Uh, I didn't think of a snazzy nickname for Liquid. Hold on, I'll do one on the on the fly. I'll do one on the fly. Hold on. Um, can't think of one off the top of my head, so I'm gonna say the Cortana to my Master Chief, Liquid. Liquid, how are you doing today? I'm living uh, living, living the dream, Chris, as per usual. Um, oh. you know, it's, today was you know a good day, like always, a good day to record, a good day to be alive, you know. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm trying to think if anything new has happened to me within this past week. Uh, well, we we do have some 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 new stuff we're gonna get into Patreons. Oh, um, but uh, anything new? Anything new? No, I can't. Huh? Oh, give me more. If you you gained, you done anything? Any any accolades you want to share with the kids? Uh, no. I mean, I'm still playing Returnal. Just waiting for Ratchet and Clank. Uh, Returnal, I was gonna, like I said, I was going into the platinum, thinking about it, I'm still even thinking about it. Um, the more and more I think about it, the less and less it's probably gonna happen, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, as far as gaming, I'm trying to think, anything different? I can't say that there is. No, nothing new there. Just been playing some Apex. Um, actually, here's something different. I haven't played Call of Duty in a long time. It's been, uh... Oh. When's the last time we played? When, last time we played was probably the last time I played. You like a week or two. Yeah, it's it's close, closing on two weeks, so it's pretty. Uh, that's new. That's different. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's 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 really it. But other than that, again, living the dream, Chris. Tell me about you. Forget that you're over here for me, right? Yeah, I am. Hey, what's up? What's up, bro? So, hey, fist pump. Give that fist uh, pump again. Oh. Yeah. That's the wall, yeah. Anyway, but uh, actually, it's been it's been interesting because I've been feeding into this Halo hype, bro. I've been like, honestly, I, you know, bless Halo cre uh, YouTubers' hearts. They're just making content out of fucking nothing right now, <laughs> and it's hilarious. But they're like, someone said something, someone said something, and they make like an eight minute video about it, and I watch it, and it's just like, and it's just so funny because everyone's just trying to extrapolate. People have theories, things have been leaked, right. and it's made me uh, scratch that itch for Halo again. And like, as you know, because last weekend I'm like, I'm just, I'm gonna grind out. Some of the, because uh, Halo, for those that don't know, have like their own kind of um, battle pass. But this one, you don't spend money. All they ask, all they want you to do is play Halo. So you get it through playing. So if you're like, wait, I can get stuff playing the game? No. Crazy? Halo's trying to do this. Don't worry, it won't stay around Halo Infinite. They're trying to get that cash. Uh, <laughs> Let me ask you but, a quick question, real quick. I'm sorry for interrupting. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I you so the world. when you watch YouTube, like for example, you mentioned YouTube, you mentioned these uh, uh, these eight minute videos that they're, they're pulling out of nothing. Uh, do you ever change? It's more of like a, I guess a more more little I guess experiment that I'm trying to do here. Do you ever change the playback speed? No. No, never. Okay. Never. So I'm also. Also, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, please go ahead. No, I'm like, you have to remember, I'm in, like, a lot of my YouTube happens while I'm working. Okay, gotcha. Well, it sounds weird, but it is true, so I'm listening to a lot of it. I'm not even watching it. Right. So that's, like, so, like, it's like, oh, a quick video, like, all right, cool, okay, let me watch this, and I'm like, I'll hear what they think or the theories are, and then people will be like, a deep dive into Halo. Like, I learned something today about Halo I didn't know, like, what race the flood were before they were the flood oh. i'm like i never even thought about it um you know stuff like that i was like i did i didn't know that but it was in the books and that's why you wouldn't know that right. i'm like ah, okay i don't know like news to me okay um i only ask because like me personally since i do have a lot of youtube shit that i try to keep up with weekly mm-hmm. um and i listen to it when i'm in i don't listen to it when i'm working but i do listen to it when i'm in the shower soaping myself soaping my body Lathering. Um, yeah, and then I use. I also listen to one of my. Lathering. Yeah. yeah. Lathering. And then I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I also. Uh, uh, I change the playback speed, or I'm sorry, I listen to YouTube when I'm showering, when I'm uh, in the gym, or when I'm even driving. I don't listen to any radio. I listen to usually podcasts or whatever. Driving. Mm. But I guess since I listen to so many, that, like different podcasts or different things, I change the playback speed to like 1.25 times the speed. I just need that, that little extra more. You know what I'm saying? So, like, four seconds of the podcast, I listen to it within three seconds. Because that, that time. Time is of the essence, Chris. You know what I'm saying? You're, look, you're right. It's just I, I have the time, so it's a luxury for me. Perfect. I have the opposite problem. I watch too many. Or, I, like, I keep up with, like, podcasts, like, a couple podcasts. And I'm like, oh, no. There's nothing to watch. And that's when I just listen to some music. And I'm like, sometimes I'll be like, because sometimes I'll switch between some music. And, like, I need, like, I'm like, bro, I woke up on the wrong side of the potato. Mm, right. And I need to, like, I need to boost myself up. So, you know, sometimes, you know, we'll listen to some rhythm of the night. Dance until the morning light. Nice. And then I'm like, and I'm like, I'm waking up to this. Like, people are, like, dragging ass and doing that. And I'm just, like, out here shaking my, my metaphorical maracas. Right. So... That's how I like to do it. But, like, I've been on a resurgence of this Halo, like, playing it again. It's been, like, a lot of fun. I'm like, man, I know I'm biased as hell. We all know it. Mm-hmm. But, like, nah. I was like, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Not even, not even a little bit. But, uh, honestly, it's been a lot of fun. And I'm like, bro, let's get into this Halo hype. I was like, I want to be excited about Halo. And I'm not going to apologize for it. I know there's red flags. Redder than my shirt, the red flags for <laughs> Halo. But I'm just going to shush them bitches away, bro. <laughs> if we see them, they pop up. <laughs> yeah. Bob and Weave dodging them out the way. Yep. Don't even worry about it. Anyway. So anything else? Look at any any liquid related before I go into the rigmarole. Uh, no, I can't see that there is. All right, guys. Well, something that were added new. We launch officially. I'm gonna say last week when you guys are watching this because it's Monday. Hi. Um. In the future, dum dum dum. Anyway, so we want to thank our patrons. Our patrons. 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 Patreon Who's subscribers. Patreon? Patreon subscribers. We have a, we don't have like a name for you being a, a fan. We don't have a thing we call our our, our fans. Right. As the homies. I, we'll do maybe that. I don't the know. microtransactionists. That's terrible. It rolls right off the tongue, bro. It all. It's so easy to say. <laughs> the transactionists. Yep. Um. Well, we need to thank you guys. Our fur. We have. You know. We get the. The four horsemen uh, of of the microtransaction. Um, we're gonna start from the le- le- what? How m- we're gonna start with Ani. Yep. So a uh, friend of the show, uh, Ani was good. Now she's four foot six. Not, uh, sidebar. Um, okay. Then we have uh, Liz, who also subscribed. Hi, Liz. Um, Thank you. Then we have Josh, who also. Uh, joined us. Thank you, Josh. Thank you so much. You. And the best of them all. 
the the guy top tier decided look at these people not giving enough for people's dreams all right is justin barrels blazing torres yeah and Good people will say can you buy chris's friendship the answer is yes justin is my best friend there's nothing i wouldn't do for that man because he supports my dreams and i know what you're thinking chris if that means if i gave you a little more money slash the microtransaction would i be your best friend the answer is a hundred percent yes yes. my friendship i've been giving that shit away all my life and now it's come to roots baby you want this friendship you want these quips right yeah oh yeah you want them justin this is this one's for you, bro. Thank you, thank you, yeah. well, thank you, everybody. But but especially you, Justin. All right. Especially Justin. <sighs> Justin, go bad, bitch. Go bad, bitch. Go. Oh, I'm TikTok dancing, baby. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> what, what is it? Is it the thick of it? <laughs> is it the thick of it? Uh, anyway. Anyway, so Justin, this is thank you so much. But on a serious tip, thank you so much. By the way, yes, I will be calling whoever our top patron is my best friend. And honestly, if I get married, whoever the number one patron is that week is going to be my best man. I'm calling it right now. Oh wait, <laughs> calling it right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so right. if you want to be my best man at my wedding? Right. Just. Give me money, bro. You'll be right next to me. You'll be holding the ring I give to my metaphorical wife. Wow. Wow. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Episode 7 of the microtransaction. But, uh, all right. Let's get into it. We, we touched it before. God right, of War episode got delayed. Episode 6. By the way. Oh, it's episode 7. Oh, it is episode 6. I'm thinking of next week's episode. I had episode... I the notes. Yeah, this is just to let every, anybody, to let everybody know. We've been kind of like with E3 coming up. We, we've been kind of like scrambling and shit as far as plans. Ooh. So yeah, to excuse us if our brains are a little mushed up right now, uh, and then they're kind of blending in the next this week and that and next week. But uh, you're, you're still getting our best. We're getting our best, which is aggressively okay. Right. Um. So. Okay, we talked about it before. God of War got delayed. Huge shocker. Uh-huh. But Ooh. Horizon. Yeah. Had to talk about it because um, the same problems that are plaguing God of War, supposedly. Um, they got put, but just in case, I'm going to just cover the bases. Let me, let me bring it back. Um, God of War got delayed till next year. I'm assuming fall of next year. Liquid. If you had to guess, because they gave it a 2022, didn't give it a seasonal thing, where do you think God of War is going to land? Do you want a specific month, or are you, are you looking for like a I season? I want a season, because the month is ridiculous. Yeah, no, I'm right with you. I think fall it would be... Well, hold on. So if... my So far, my mind is, is, is fall. That's what I'm thinking of, right? Mm-hmm. Um, however, I think that they could do the thing that you're starting to see more developers do. They start releasing it like earlier in the year, um, rather mm-hmm. than having to wait, everybody wait till fall. So there's a good chance I think it comes out earlier in the year, as long as they know for sure they have a fall game next year. Now, of course, obviously we don't know, but we have heard about the the uh, the 25 uh, studios or whatever that they're or 25 IP whatever the hell that they're working on apparently. So you would imagine there's got to be something coming out next year, something else. And if that is the case, I expect God of War to be early in the year. But as of right now, with what we do know, fall. Well, I'm right with you. I'm right there with you. Yeah, okay, because they were insane to call God of War way too early, and um, and all this stuff, and it's just ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Like there's no way anyone ever thought God of War was gonna come out. Like, and it's not saying that my boy. Corey Barlog isn't out there tapping the ones and twos, trying to get the story down and all this, but it's, an, it, it's just, it was too, I feel like it, even without um, the pandemic going on and all that, it would be a near to impossible task to be at the launch window they were at. I, I think so. Do we know? We could, oh, go ahead. Finish up. Oh, just, I was just saying, just because of the type of caliber even if they were going to shorten the experience and all that, mm-hmm. even if they were going to do that, the caliber of game, you still have to have it up to that level. Right. Especially with how, how amazing the, pre, the, the 
the game was the, the original God of War, the or not the original, but you know what I mean. PS4 is God of War. Um, yeah, you definitely don't want to have anything less stellar. But um, are we sure Corey Barlog's working on it? Or, like, it's not somebody else? Okay, I just want to make sure because I remember there was rumors that he might not be, but I don't remember. How, I didn't really follow up on that. You know, Corey Barlog is because in um. At a, at a Sony investor meeting, they uh, like they released it. The game is going to be called Thor Ragnarok, which we all thought of. Or not Thor Ragnarok. Dude, God, I, I Ragnarok. did the same mistake the other day talking to Ani about it. It happens. Even, even like, but you know, and like Corey Bar, like he put out like a face palm thing. Oh really? Like he's, like, you just released the name. Like he doesn't even get to have the moment of like God of War Ragnarok. Right, right, right. Yeah. Like he's like you took that away from me. We're all you were now. We're just going to look at it like oh, okay. I said it like we thought about it, but we didn't know that's kind of cool still. No, exactly. We totally took took that to, totally em- emptied the clip on that one. Um, I feel um more telling over Sony's at is Zero Horizon. Like we, we touched a little bit last week, how it didn't have um a release date. They didn't lock it down the last day to play, and it looks like they. They said officially, I think it was on Twitter or like in a press release junket where, um, good? Yeah. Okay, my bad, bro. You started looking off into the distance and I was like, what happened? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I was just messing with some of the audio levels. It was. Okay. Where, uh, <laughs> bro, your focus face, it looked, bro, you were so stone cold <laughs> looking at it that I was like, did he just freeze? No. Nah. Like, <laughs> oh, you thought I, yeah, just. <laughs> bro, you were like, <laughs> anyway, but like Horizon didn't get a release date, and they still they said they feel like they're still on track to hit the fall release. Mm-hmm. But of this year or of next or, or of this year? Remember, Zero Horizon supposed to come out this year. Oh, you're talking about Horizon Zero, Horizon Forbidden West. You're talking about? Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, that's supposed to come out this year, and it's just not right. Well, it is supposedly. Supposedly, yeah. But it, yeah, but. What do you? How do you feel about that liquid? Uh, I mean, the the lack of the release date. Eh, I don't know. Like I said, it, it. I don't. I wouldn't be too alarmed, only because we saw gameplay. I think the fact that we saw gameplay of it, I still feel like it's coming out this year personally. Um, mm-hmm. and I do feel like it's just more of Sony holding their cards to their te- close to their chest, like they tend to do a lot of times. Uh, mm-hmm. so I, I don't think it's that. I don't think it, like I don't think it's that. I guess big a deal. I guess is what I'm trying to get at. It's still, you know, it's it's still kind of like, whoa, whoa, why why wouldn't you just release announce a release date? But I'm not gonna sweat it too much, only because I feel like games announce release dates way too early, anyways. Like we've seen it, like where they, hell, God of War was fucking one of them. You know what I'm saying? Where they said it was coming out this year. Like, come on, like there's no way, dude. So it's just like I feel like there's almost no point. Like until you're actually sure and you're ready, go ahead and announce it then. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, I don't know. It's not gonna it's not gonna hurt the game in my opinion. Yeah, it is. Whatever. So, okay, now we're going to the conspiracy corner. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. It's, back, uh, it's right behind you. Yeah, it's ho- it's always there. <laughs> anyway, but wh- what do you... Do you feel it hurts Sony in any way that, let's just say, it gets pushed to early next year, which is a serious possibility at this time. Right. Where we're at right now, do you feel like it hurts Sony in a real way when when Xbox is gonna s- supposedly start releasing Halo and there's a I think there's another I don't know that no no there's not another but like a Halo they, they have a major title that's coming on, on Xbox. Mm-hmm. Do you think it hurts Sony Sony in any real way? Uh, it's funny you mentioned you said real way. I, I, I'm glad you brought you said real way because yeah I I actually don't feel like it hurts them in a real way like in a, like I feel like they you know you got death loop that's coming out in september even though i'm not really too ex- well i haven't really watched much of it so i don't have much to be excited about because i haven't seen much oh. myself i know you told me that it's, it seems amazing and the way you described it seems amazing as well uh so like they have that in september um i don't like i said i don't expect it i don't think it'll hurt them in in that way at all i, I think it'll i think it'll probably put a smidge on the plans it'll probably suck sure but I feel like they have some strong, you know, second party stuff as well. Uh, not, not that we know of as far as coming besides, like I said, Deathloop. Um, and that Ghostwire Tokyo, is that supposed to be coming out this year as well? I know. that It's got like a trailer that said we haven't even seen okay. the gameplay. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even consider that then. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I don't know. I don't think it'll hurt him too much to be honest. Just you see, I don't know if I'm playing a little bit into the conspiracy corner, right. but hear me out because then that means Deathloop would be doing some of the heavy lifting this sure. year, right? right? But the thing is, it is a Bethesda game, so they're like, wow, your edge, your real, like you can. You can do some jujitsu around maybe being like, hey, bro, this is the summer of Xbox slash Bethesda. You know what I'm saying? Or this is like the year of it because you're appreciating Bethesda. You're like, wow, Bethesda made Deathloop, which looks awesome. All the previews say it's great. Everything we've seen is great. And then you're like, wait, Bethesda's with Xbox, and we all know that. Right. And then you have Halo coming out, and if Halo hits, if Halo does what it's supposed to do, then you're just like in this summer of uh, I want to I don't know why I keep saying summer but we're in this like fall of like this year of love with Xbox and you like do you think that all goes away when like one of these games come out like like it doesn't you don't you don't think it bothers a little bit I, not I, at all I honestly don't only because like like you said with Halo coming out like first, first of all it's a big if when it comes to Halo. It's a big if. Like, I, 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 I'm sorry, cause I have, I'm, I gotta be honest. This is, I gotta be. This is liquid, liquid of the people, all right? <laughs> liquid of the people. Right. I gotta be honest, and it's just like, right. as much as the, I, bro, I, I would, do, I want Halo to be nothing but amazing. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But, um, but like I said, it's a big if. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think uh, Xbox has a great opportunity. Uh, and and they they need to do they just all they need to do is knock it out the park like the the ball is set they just need to knock it out the park but we're talking about throughout the year we're not talking about just now we're not talking about in the end of the year we're talking about from E3 on you know what I'm saying I feel like they need to knock it out so like as as far as PlayStation even if they're missing out I don't think again I don't think they're I don't think it's gonna make that much of an impact uh, it will suck sure it will be like oh man looks like Xbox is, is they're starting to, 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 I guess, you know, fire on some cylinders here. They're starting yeah. to, 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 to heat it up, heat up the competition a little bit. But I don't know. I, I still don't think it's enough. And I, and I honestly still do feel like maybe this is me could be conspiracy, conspiracy theorist. I do feel like uh, PlayStation may have some cards to the chest they're not letting out. I feel like they're, they're, they're very, and I don't know why, they're very, like, to themselves recently especially. Like they're they're like really trying to be careful with everything is what it seems like to the point that yeah. it seems like they're not doing anything at all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know. Well, no- I think it'll impact it sure, but not to a, a huge extent. It's funny because I know that like Sony takes like most of their big wig decisions happen here in the states nowadays, but it's very I'm gonna say out Japanese slash Nintendo esque. Because Nintendo don't care what anyone's doing. They're like, right. yo, we're going to come out with this. Uh, by the way, uh, this game that we've been making for three years comes out tomorrow. Bye. And you're like, whoa, 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 what? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. And it, by the way, it's a game that you've played before, but we just remade it. And we took the emulators from other companies and we just made it our own because we own the IP. Okay, bye. Oh, you're, and you're still going to pay for it. 100%. You're still going to pay a full $60 for it. We're going to give you, we're going to charge $20 worth of content. We're going to charge for $60 and you're going you're gonna to pay this and you're going to like it. Nobody liked it, but they still paid it. Yeah. That's a whole conversation we can have about Nintendo. Remember, we don't... We, we, I was trying not to shit on Nintendo. Well, no, I, I'm trying not to neither, and I think uh, later on in the show, I've got some... Oh, I've mean, got some, some things to talk about later on about Nintendo, and I, I, I think that'll... That, that's not bashing them. I know every time I open my mouth and, and I mention Nintendo, it seems like all I'm doing is shitting on them, but th- that's not always the case, all right? L- last week's episode, I did say I'm still a Nintendo fan. I like Nintendo. I just want them to do better. That's all it is. I, I think a lot of people can agree with you on yeah, that one. Sure, of course. Um, yeah, so, huh. All right, well, I don't know. I, I, you have anything really to add to the first topic, Liquid? I know that like we had our fun skin going, and I just decided to bleed it together. I know I'm talking shop, guys. You get to know the guts of this, how we're doing things. Right. I'm just saying. You have anything to I'm add? I'm really. Um. Yeah. Um. No. That that's really it. Uh, that actually lasts longer than I even thought it would. To be honest with you. But yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, to be. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming. Wait, do you have a timer up or no? I have a timer, but I started it late because I got into starting the rigmarole and all that. I got excited. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm sorry. Hey, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's fine because I can start from here. But, like, our second topic going in. Well, I'm going to start it off with the game of the week, actually. 
All right, so we played Minecraft Dungeons. Liquid, what did you think of Minecraft Dungeons? I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Um, it, it's it's good to play. It's better to play with a friend. Uh, obviously, it's to like talk shit. Um, me and you have talked about this game, and we, you know, the the way you described it was like that. It's a, a good game where you turn off your brain and you just play. And I couldn't agree with more. Like it's you know when you're sh when you're playing these shooters and you're cursing out the screens and you're you're just you know just yelling at the top of your lungs this is a, just a good game to like lay back there's nothing much to it you don't take it seriously you just you know it's it's like it's it's very you know quick and easy to just jump right in and then and even some stuff you learn like even as i was playing i was learning some new stuff like different things you can do which i'll get into a little bit but um but yeah overall i what's up but yeah, overall, I enjoyed it. I, th I thought it was I thought it was really good for what it is. It's like my my first Diablo, my first dungeon crawler, is what it is. Baby's first dungeon crawler, I guess you could call it. But uh, yeah, it was it, it was good. I think that is the perfect way to describe this game. Is you heard about dungeon crawlers? I think like any gamer that's been around for a, a while because of the like the gravity that is diablo like you just hear dungeon crawlers and you hear it even if you're not in the pc state like i i wouldn't consider myself a pc gamer or anything like that but even i've played diablo 2 back up on i was a diablo diablo 2 back in the day and uh and it's just been so it's been so much fun to finally like really get into that world right because with diablo 2 i didn't know what i was or diablo when i first not diablo 2 diablo 1 to let you know how old it was because i think we were playing it on dial-up i can't even remember like it wasn't online but anyway but anyway back to minecraft it's just i've never played minecraft the official title so this is my first soiree into dungeon crawler and into um into minecraft and i'm like why does this work so well together like it's like it's this world it's blocky it's fun like um when i started i had like i guess i'm gonna call it a summon because i don't know what it's actually called but like a little creature you can call but it was a llama and like me and this llama we were just out there fighting the hordes together me and him we were homies and i kept him like he wasn't doing damage halfway through because he was so low level and i didn't want to let him go i was like no nah, bro you're, you're the homie like i don't don't, don't leave right and i was like, you know but you know i had then, then stats of calling so then i got that upgrade and he and uh right now i got some bees <laughs> and uh you know me when me and liquid were playing together like i thought I thought that Liquid was going to play one day, he did it. so I was like, okay, I'm busy at that afternoon, so I'm just going to grind out this morning, but the thing is, Liquid ended up playing another game, and then I was like, over-leveled to where Liquid was at, but then we were still playing together, and that's another thing that I don't think we failed to mention at the time, um, how cool it was, we like, I, I didn't feel like the level gap that much when we were playing together. No, it didn't. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. I think they throw out enough enemies where it's like, of, of like different levels where you can just attack, or or who knows, maybe they just buff the person who's weakest. I don't I don't know what they do behind the scenes, but yeah, you regardless, it doesn't feel like it's too like just too much, especially if you're a low level with your friend who's a higher level. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah, that, it it wasn't something we initially meant to test, right? But uh, like, what did you think about the customers the 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 look? Like, the customizing of the character, the world, tell me what you think. It was like, so, it, that part was very basic, but in a good way. And when I say that, I mean, like, uh, it doesn't get too much in depth. I know, like, Diablo and all these other games, you probably, there's so many different items you have to really worry about. I feel like this one's just a little more basic, again, a little more kid-friendly, especially. Um, yeah. You know, the the art style is very much my, like Minecraft, very blocky. Um as far as the armor, the gear, the, the the weapons, everything like that, even the enchantments, like you touched up on the little summons and stuff oh, like that, and then you awesome. got the enchantments that you can put on your on your weapons as well, uh, which is dope, you know. So like just to make it a little stronger, I thought it was cool. I thought it was unique. I thought it was like different. Uh, I thought they did a good job blending in Minecraft with a dungeon crawler. Uh, so yeah, I thought I thought overall, like you know, when you, especially when you have like a a wolf's freaking head mask or whatever it is, and it, it's a hide. Your hide. 
Oh yeah, the wolf's hide. There you go. Uh, yeah, it, it looks cool and it, it looks funny because it's very blocky, but it also looks dope because it's just like, yeah, look at me. Like nobody's gonna take you seriously, obviously, because you're just a, just this block guy, you're this little block man. But uh, but overall, it's just fun. Like it's it's fun, it's funny, and yeah, very very cutesy. I guess like I said, it, it's a perfect dungeon crawler, especially for kids or even adults too. Like um. And honestly, it got to the point where I liked it too. And I, you know, it's I don't know if they meant to do it, but there was like also a, a, a skin, a, not a skin, an armor, and it, you kind of look like Kratos. It had like the one red thing that went through your head. Oh really? And I was like, I'm like, yo, is somebody about to sue somebody, bro? I'm like, this guy, I'm like, I look a lot like Kratos right now. Right. And it, it was it was great because it had moments of where, like different weapons felt strong even like i had like a, i was dual wielding um i'm the one i have right now i'm dual wielding uh, daggers mm-hmm. and they have like a lightning buff and i'm like i'm not hitting one person hard but i'm doing like quick damage at dps and i'm like man i like this but then i'll also have like a spear mm-hmm. and you know like it's, it's a big one hit move oh. so i'm like you know you, you're more you're more deliberate when you hit things right. i like how like thought was going to be very simple there was like some nuance to it like way more than i expected and enjoyed because of it because i feel like i got i learned a little more right yeah, no i agree um i don't know if there's anything else you want to touch up on it your your screen's kind of locking up a little bit i don't know if we need to take a break oh let's let's um well, I guess uh, we could just take a quick break if it's doing that right now. Well, well, well hey guys, see you in like two seconds. Yeah, we'll be right back. All right, so, so game of the week, we didn't quite get to finish. Liquid. Yeah. Where does it land on the scale, yay or nay? It's a good. It's a good. We give it a good. Uh, play it. Play it with your your kids. Play it with your friends. Uh, just play with somebody. It's good. Yeah. You know, honestly, it is a good play. It's a good... Honestly, you listen to podcasts to it. You listen to music in the background. I played the game for... Well, between 5 to 10 hours, I'm going to say I played that game. And um, I have no idea what's going on in the story. And I couldn't care. Yeah. And the levels... The good thing is the levels are kind of short enough where you can, like... Even if you just want to do one level, like, go in and... Just go in, play a little bit, get out. Like, it's perfect for that. So that's good, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I was playing by myself and stuff like that. So, no, it is way... It's always better. I think it's always going to be better to play with your friends. Right. But, I, yeah, I'm going to have to give it a yay, too. Um, I don't think you need to rush out and play it. But if there's a lull, like, in your gaming, in the, in the backlog, and you're like... You know, I want to play something, but I don't want to get too crazy. Because we all have that. We need something just like a, a nice little appetizer. Right. This does that perfectly. Um, yeah, but now heading into Ubisoft and Far Cry 6. Liquid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think about the trailer and the and just everything? What did you think about everything, bro? So I liked it. Um, one of the things that was kind of surprising is that you play as a girl. I don't think they've. Intru- I think this is the first time they've done that, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. So that's kind of cool. Like it's so funny because like that's how they introduced the trailer. So I think that's how I'm gonna play it as a female. Um, but yeah, it's it's like this like little you know it's like hints of Cuba is what it looks like, and you know you're like part of this revolution. I think it's kind of dope. Uh, you got uh, Giancarlo Esposito from uh, The Boys and Breaking Bad and many other things. And he's obviously going to do a phenomenal job, as always. Yeah. And Mandalorian. He was in Mandalorian. Um, I was going to say, I was like, please bring up Mando. I almost, I almost missed that one. But yeah, um, it looks good, man. Like, it's so funny because, like, I'll play, I'll play every other Far Cry. Like, um... I played. I started off with three because I heard how amazing three was, and it was amazing. But it was very like the story didn't really matter. Like it was very like bro because you, you play this guy named Brody. Uh, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I think his name is Brody. I've, uh, yeah, he's just they were like his friends, like frat, fr- like frat brothers Jeez. and stuff like that. And they're on an island. All of a sudden, he becomes like the chosen one on this island. 
Yeah, it's so it's it's a little it's a little cringy, but the gameplay is solid. All right, like oh. because it's like you infiltrate infiltrate bases and like camps and shit like that. Um, but in first person, and it's, and it's the whole game's in first person, and it's like it's you know it's dope. The driving feels pretty solid. The weapons feel pretty solid. Um, I'm not a big Ubisoft fan, but Far Cry's I usually make an exception for here and then. Um, so yeah, that was part three. I, part four I played a little bit of, didn't really care for it, but then I went back into part to primal it's about cavemen that one was nice and then i skipped six or i'm sorry i skipped five and then i went and now i'm totally interested in six like one thing that's like different that i don't think they, they just introduce is that like the fact that you can go into a base or a camp or you know in front of the, the people and you could just be disguised just put your gun away in your disguise is one of them like you could like get them like, you know you know, just infiltrate and like stealth like like sort of like be on the, the inside without them knowing and i think that's dope that's like i always love like when you you're you're given an opportunity to play a game and you're like the enemy's literally there like they they see you you're right in their sights and yet they don't know who you are like I I always love that form of stealth more than anything like stealth has always been my favorite like sort of genre like my favorite thing to do mm-hmm. but when you're like in plain sight stuff like I always thought that was like Hitman I thought that was dope when you could you know you disguise yourself as a character so uh, yeah when I heard about this game doing doing that that's that's cool. Uh, it seems like they're going to really double down on some of these weapons and stuff like that. That's cool as hell. Um, and your little sidekick, you get this little dashing uh, sort of puppy. That is, it looks like I guess he holds some of your stuff. He's a little crippled. Like he has like little uh, little little wheelchair. But hey, it's cool. He seems he, but he's happy. It's the cutest little. He's, yeah, the, he's adorable. And I want him to bite Bro, some fucking just, heads off. I love the trailer. It shows all these crazy things, all these weapons, and then the end, like they just, they just, they like, hey, you know what? People really liked cute things in the Mandalorian. Let's just keep on giving people cute things they could latch on to. Right. And I'm like, hey, bro, you're playing me, but you're right. Give me that good boy. Give me the good boy. Yeah. Give me the good boy. See, you know what? Oh. Like I, I mean, there's, there's really not, I guess, not much to talk about, but for a little, I, oh no, yeah, no, I still want to, I want to hear your thoughts more into it, but okay. for that, that's about it though, as far as my point of view. Like I, I thought it was, I thought it was good. I, I'm, I'm interested in playing. I'm definitely gonna play this one. But yeah, let me know. What do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna start from the beginning. When it comes to Ubisoft and me, I, um. I'm not the biggest Ubisoft person, but it's not because I stay away from it intentionally. It just, like, it always kind of misses me. It's just, and it keeps, except when Division 2 um, came out, and, but it came, well, not that when it came out, when it was like, hey, you can play for $5. And I was like, $5 for the Division? I was like, L- let me let me let me try that. I'm like, what? I'm like, bro, that, that, that used to be a, that used to be a sub like 10 years ago. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> so, like, I played it, ran through the campaign, and I was like, oh, this is awesome. Like, you know, and I was playing it during the middle of the panoramic while playing in a panoramic. <laughs> and I was just like, and I was like, this is great. I was like, oh, I see why people like Division. I'm um, like, it's, it, you know, it has a good cover mechanic. The shooting was good. I'm having a lot of fun over here. I was like, okay, this is, it's not the best by any stretch of the imagination, but it's nowhere near the worst. Like, it's right. totally serviceable, good, has a good, like, hook. So Ubisoft and me, we're all right. And then, uh, but I've never played a Far Cry game. So I was really interested when, like, I hadn't seen the trailer because I thought we were going to cover Far Cry. But you, you said, you know, let, let's let's see what's about. Yeah. And um, so I watched the trailer, and for the first time ever, dude, it it hooked me. Yeah, I agree. I love the way the game looked. I like the music, the vibe. I know there's a lot of controversy with them in Cuba. Oh, is there, you know, oh yeah, dude. The, um, I, I'll give you the abridged version. Uh, if I get some things wrong, excuse me, guys. But basically, because it has a cube, you know, the Cuba vibe and stuff like that, you know, there's like, oh, you say you're not a political game, but then you're it's a political game. And it's just... It's just that back and forth with Ubisoft because Ubisoft apparently constantly has political things going on all the time. We touched about it in our personal conversations the other day, and but they like they never fully invest. They always take half measures, right? And it's just like why you know they because it's not Cuba. It's this made up other place yeah. they just did, but just like Cuba, and <laughs> and it's just I wish. 
I, you know, they do such good work, and when you see like something like that, you're like, why don't you like, like just fully lock into it? Right. You know what I mean? And that's the only thing. But that's extra stuff. That's that's things over there. Right. right. Like, that's outside of the game. I want to talk about what's in the game. And I love because, like, um, going a little into the history of Cuba, like, uh, since they, you know, the trading and stuff, like, the real life boring stuff, it's like sometimes ingenuity has to happen. You have this car. It's not like you can just buy another car. So you got to make workarounds. So they adopted, like, that mindset into weapons. Right. So, like, they made a gun, a uh, engine turret gun thing. And I was like, Oh my! I'm like, bro. Whoever thought of that deserves a raise. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I was like, are you? I'm like, this is what I'm talking about. I'm like, someone need did their homework. Someone in pre-production of that game was like, bro, Cuba has this thing where they just they'll make cars work out of like two sticks and a rock. Yeah, that's true. And, you know? and I'm like, yeah, the cars from the 1950s. Like, don't worry, bro. I got two sticks and a rock. It'll be fine. And like, hey, bro, let's let's just see what ingenuity would be in this world and i was like i dig the crap out of this this is awesome and like the look of the game the guns and i did like the female player and i think this is the first thing to introduce like so oh a question uh before i i make that statement can you choose to be male or female or does it give you a main protagonist no you could choose uh, okay like they're both named like the same. The they're both like danny i think rodriguez or something like that i believe they said or danny something i'm the first oh. danny but it's, so they give like a like a boy girl name like yeah, Billy. Yeah, but because like the girl's version, I guess is named D A N I, and then I'm assuming the guy is D A N N Y. Maybe I'm not. I'm not sure. They didn't show the the ID. It seemed to be very focused more on the female, and uh, the, I did notice that it was Danny. But yeah, it looks like you could play as a male or female. Even though I'm gonna say the only knock I have, and it's so weird, and I don't normally think this stuff. So it was just weird that I felt it when I was watching this trailer that the character was too pretty. You, I felt you, like she was too pretty. Yeah, I felt the same way. I was just like, um, I don't know. Yeah, it seemed a little unrealistic for her character to be in that sort of situation because her character is supposed mm-hmm. to be like ex-military, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm yeah. like, this girl, this girl is like almost Victoria's Secret model to be a, an ex-military, but you know, whatever. Uh, and, you know, don't get me wrong, there's, like, like Gal Gadot fought in the military and stuff like that. There's been beautiful, like, it just, you know, maybe it's just because of The Last of Us 2 and stuff like that. Like, you know, like, you don't need these dime pieces right. to be, like, it, yeah. it just it just missed a little for me. But I'm like, it's such a nitpicky thing. I don't think while I'm playing it, I'll care at all. Yeah, you probably won't even notice, it, especially since you're mainly looking at her hands. <laughs> or oh, was, oh it's not in third person no, that's how it's first you guys i don't play yeah. oh so you really won't see the whole this game is first person except for maybe there might be cutscenes. yeah i think there's gonna be cutscenes where it's in like third person but yeah, oh, okay. the gameplay is all first person 100 like even when you're driving it, you're in first person dude dead ass before we had this conversation thought far cry was a third person game no, bro. 100 <laughs> percent news to me guys but no this game i think i'm i, I think and I, you know, this means something to me now. I'm not trying to shit the conversation, but since I live in a Game Pass world, I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna pay money for this game. I really dug it. I was like, you know, I'm like, you, you got me. Yeah. I like the oh, what, uh, the Macarena. Oh gun. yeah, the records oh. are you shooting. Yeah, oh. that was dope. It's funny because I'm like, oh wait, they're playing a lot of Macarena. I'm like, okay, that's that's a little weird. I'm like, oh, it's the God is shooting records, like. I loved it, and it's like a repeat. Macarena, yeah. Macarena, Macarena. I was like, you genius level motherfucker. Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. Oh, so, yeah, no, um, I agree. This game like, wasn't on my radar in original. Like, I remember seeing the teaser trailer to it, and it was mm-hmm. on my radar a little bit, but I was like, eh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Far Cry is usually kind of disappoint me sometimes. It depends. It's hit or miss. But this one really, really, uh, I'm interested. Got my attention. Yeah. And, um,. Just, just a generally all good way around trailer, man. I just enjoyed, bro. Like, like you know, comparing to the state of play of mm-hmm. of the the spectacle that Horizon was, and to this, like, it wasn't like such a visual. Like, I'm gonna say, I don't want to use the word masterpiece, but like, 
you know, like showcase. Right. There you go, showcase. And for me, this like, hey, we like Ubisoft never makes like the most beautiful games, but they always make like good looking, respectable games, and they like push game. They try to push gameplay forward. I feel mm-hmm. try anyway. Yeah. So like, the, and um, you know, I uh, I was really impressed, and I feel like. I feel like this could be a potential like next step for Ubisoft, like in the Far Cry franchise. Because I'm like, I really like none of the other stuff have ever grabbed me. I see it, I'm like, it's a B plus game, whatever, bro. Right, yeah. That's how I always feel about it. Like if I were to categorize games, I always put in B plus. Like if I played it, I'd have a great time. But there's other stuff I can play. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely and, right. And I feel like for the first time, especially with the guy from, I always forget his name. Giancarlo Esposito. Uh, yeah, Carlos. My boy, Carlos! Giancarlo, uh, Giancarlo, I think. Oh, Giancarlo? Yeah. yeah that's way cooler. Yeah, that's it, a cool it, is, it is a cooler. It I is wonder cool. if that's an actor name. Um, well, dude, most of them are, so I'd imagine it is. Because that's too cool, unless yeah. the parents hook their up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And some Spanish parents, they will do shit like that. Like, yo, hold oh, on. Yeah, What's my last name? Let me let me add some swag on it. Like, I'm going to help you out in your life for free. Right. Um... I always think about the story, actually, with your little brother and talking to your dad one time. He's like, oh, man, I just, for Dylan, his name is Dylan, and he's like, I just wanted to be, like, DD. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he could write it. And like, and he's like, Dylan, the guy. he's like, yeah, that, wor- that, wor- oh, that works real well. And I was just like, you know, that, that's a good way to look at it. I'm like, because I, I remember this conversation, bro, had to be at least six years old. Is that what he told you? Yeah. That's what he told me. Okay, let me tell you something, because I'm about to shit on that. It's a lie. Right? <laughs> Let's go! Right, I'm going to tell you exactly where the where the, where the name Dylan came from. Oh, they, oh that's what he told me! No, we were also dude, drinking Corona. He's, oh, we okay, well, he's full corona. of shit, bro. Dil, the, the name <laughs> Dylan came from Beverly Hills 90210. All right, and it was Dylan... It was uh, Matt... Wait, what's this guy's name? Uh, what's this dude? Something Perry. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. R.I.P. He died, died recently. Yeah, yeah. Um... Uh, Luke Perry, Luke his Perry. character. You know what I'm saying? He got, he got the he got the bitches. So he was like, my dad thought Dylan was a good name. That's where he got. That's where he originally got the name from. Dylan's name is based okay, off of Beverly Hills 90210. Okay, okay. I... Don't let that man fool you. <laughs> he got me wrong. Right, right my name is based off of my dad's name. All right. Frank's name is based off of one of my uncle's name who passed away, and Dylan's name is based off of Beverly Hills 90210. Someone could question which name is the best one, bro. Because 90210, bro, Luke Perry, he was just, he, he, you was, know, the he, was, he was 40 the years guy. old. Yeah. Smashing 20 year olds. That's gross. It, it, yeah, because you can see the <laughs> hairline was receding. I'm like, we're supposed to believe this man is 20. Is that what you're telling me right now? Like, the man has wrinkles, bro. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> anyway, back to Ubisoft. Oh, we had a conversation with that one. Oh, uh, since since we're sparking all, all over the place, I didn't actually say what our game of the week is gonna be. Sorry, guys, this, this got a little loose from us. But um, next week it is gonna be um. Oh, I just blanked out on the name. The dodgeball game. Knockout Shit. City. Knockout City. Um. So for next week, Knockout City, Ubisoft. So, Liquid, how the trailer? Do you think? You think this was a good trailer? You think this was like from seeing the tra- from seeing what we saw at E3 to this trailer that we saw and this showcase entirely? Do you think this was like? Does this like excite you at all? The Ubisoft trailer you're saying, right, for Far Cry? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It does excite me. Like, Luke Perry. <laughs> it does excite me. It's um, like I I I, w- I was actually gonna skip it completely until Dylan's like, hey. You should check out this trailer. It's funny, like another shout out to it all wraps around to Dylan. Uh, you should watch. Dylan! This, you should watch this trailer. There's a you get a little puppy in it as your as your sidekick. I'm like, what? No, uh? so I'm like, I gotta watch the whole freaking thing. Cause I gotta figure. And the puppy's literally there in the last few seconds. It's not even there. Not even there for long enough. But but I watched the whole no, thing. No, long enough. And I'm so glad I did because I'm like, I'm in it. I'm I'm ready for this game. I want to play this game. I really want yeah. to. Yeah, um, I think I think it did what it's supposed to do. Right. It had a product and it sold you on the product. Absolutely. And and honestly, it didn't have to do with um. Oh my God, Jose, John Carlos, 
Carlo Esposito. 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 Anyway. Despacito? <laughs> something, 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 Puerto Rico? <laughs> My boy Justin Bieber, not knowing the words of his own song? Anyway. Um, oh, hold on, my camera. Uh, um, but yeah. Uh, no, I because I feel like when they showed off the initial trailer, it was like, we got this celebrity in here. Right. And I was just like, cool, great celebrity, but I'm like, like, Dev Stranding, maybe not give a shit what celebrities in a fucking mm. video game. I gotcha. Because it started with fuckface doing the voice of Metal Gear. Yeah, that's Keeper right. Sutherland. I hate that man. You hate Keeper nope, Sutherland? No. Oh man. No, I hate fuckface. All right. It just it, Jack it, it Bauer. Just felt, I felt the perversion. It just felt perverted, bro. Um, and um, we're not we're not getting into it, Liquid. We're not getting into it, okay? No, no, we don't have to. I'm just saying it's Jack Bauer. It's the Lost Boys, Kiefer Sutherland. Never never seen the Lost Boys, never seen 24. Well, fuck them both, bro. You know what I'm saying? 24 that guy is needs damn good. Yeah. 24 is really good. I'm just throwing I don't it know, dude. Just throw and it I'll it. never see it, bro. I'll never see it. You have Amazon Prime? Don't know. I think it's on there. Give it a chance. <laughs> nope. Someone's gonna have to pay a lot of money on Patreon for me to watch Twenty Four. Okay. Dead ass. How, um, mu- how much we talking? Bro, no, because then we gotta add a tier, and then it's gotta be a thing. Well, what if somebody just? Okay. What if somebody just does a, like not even a tier? They just donate extra. No, no. If I'm gonna do it, we're gonna make it a thing. What if we did? Right? Okay. What if we did season one for twenty bucks? Because I'm about to put twenty bucks in there myself. <laughs> No, you're not gonna put twenty, but not you, Liquid. <laughs> Ask me somebody else, okay, bro? God damn, dude. Because you're putting money essentially back in your own pocket. I know. I, wa- I want you to watch Twenty Four. You want me to tell you? No. <laughs> the okay. only way, I, uh, legit, if you want to, Liquid, up to you. Okay. I'm just saying, we make it a tier. We watch it, and we have to review. I, I have to. If I if I'm watching this fucking show, it has to be content. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Dude. <laughs> like I said, I don't give a shit about celebrities being in video games because every time there's a celebrity in a fucking video game, I feel like it just it's a detriment to the video game. Right. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Keanu Gray or Keanu Graves, Keanu Reeves, and fucking uh, Cyberpunk. Oh god, yeah. I'm not saying it's his fault, but like, I'm just saying celebrities in video games so far not so good. No. I agree. Um, and fuck Jack Bauer. Anyway, um, <laughs> all right, man. Well, again, we're we're on the last topic of the show, the main topic of the show, guys. We're in pre E three right now. Yeah, well, this is like E three Eve. Yeah, bro, it's. Do you count this? Are we in E3, this new version of E3, or is this still pre-E3? Pre. I'd still say pre. Okay. I don't know, man. I feel like we're getting, like, with Sony and and Far Cry and Sonic, and I'm like, bro, I'm starting to think we're just in E3. No, I feel like once we hit that Friday beforehand, pretty much essentially by the time this goes up, so yeah, this upcoming Friday, uh, Mm -hmm. then we're going to be in E3, I feel like. Well, I guess now is as good as time to make the announcements, guys. We're gonna, we're good. Me and Liquid, we're gonna be watching, um, only the Xbox things live. So th- I think that'll be one or two videos. We'll work that out. One, we're gonna have live reactions, and then we're gonna have our thoughts about it. Um, but every other day, we're gonna have a review of us, what we think about the day, the highs, the lows, the like this. I don't know what they were thinking. So that's gonna that's gonna be every day. Right. So if it doesn't come out the night, it'll come out the next morning, guys. We're pumping out this content. Liquid decided to roll up his metaphorical uh, sleeves. No sleeves. He, we don't have any sleeves, baby. No sleeves. No, but the, the imaginary sleeves. He's yeah. just like hey, everyone's watching to see what you will do. That's Liquid, and he's editing. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna supply you with the E three goodness, okay? Um, so liquid. 
I, 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 the schedule. Right. How do you feel about the schedule? Uh, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like, I, I think it's fine. I mean, you figure, so Xbox is going on Sunday, which I think is smart. Get ahead of everybody, you know what I'm saying? And especially that's when the majority of people are probably off so they can see it live. Um, I think Square Enix is going after them. Uh, so that, you know, that's cool. You know, and then you got every, every day after that, I think there's going to be some Nintendo in there. Do you have the schedule in front of you? Not yet, but I can pull it up real I quick. Started, right, I started the computer halfway through so I don't have it anymore. No, I can pull up the, the real quick here. I pull up the schedule because the thing is, I hear that the schedule is like it's not set on a, like like from eight from this time to this time every right. day, and we'll time you accordingly. And I'm like, that was a little bit of knock I had. I was just like E3. I was like, yo, die you and like you you need to tighten that energy up, bro. Like I'm like it needs to like I need to know the E3 starting at this time these days, and I feel like I'm not getting that right now, and I'm like. What's, what's, I, f- I feel like you're kind of getting it. Like, I, like I have it pulled up right now. I'm reading it right now, actually. I let, let the people know. So, I, let me know. Technically, it starts on Saturday, June twelfth, and that's when okay. Ubisoft is, I guess, doing their stuff. It's called Ubisoft Forward. Like, that's when they're going to show their stuff. That's at three p.m. on Saturday, three p.m. Eastern time, by the way. That's on oh. Saturday. Um, and then so they're going to be showing off some stuff that same day. Gearbox Entertainment is doing their stuff. Uh, Gearbox, uh, no. Okay. I don't even know what Gearbox has anymore, to be honest with you. Like, bro, I hear there's some. I I saw I saw it today in a YouTube, or I listened to it on a YouTube video today, where they were talking about there was some issue with. Gear, they said there were certain like they're more popular games. Mm-hmm. They weren't. I think it was Gearbox that they weren't showing. So people are like, "What the hell are you showing at E3?" And it's just like this weird thing. Like, what do you have? They're just there to be there. Uh, whatever. But then Sunday, oh, yeah. I think, is when it really kicks off. That's when the Xbox showcase. Uh, as we were talking about here, that's Xbox and Bethesda. Let's not get it twisted there. Xbox oh, and yeah, Bethesda baby. showcase. Uh, X- Xbox and Bethesda. It's at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, you got Square Enix that same day. They're starting at 3.15 p.m. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Uh, 3.15 p.m. Eastern Time, 12.15 a.m. Or, sorry, p.m. Uh, Pacific Time. And then you got Monday, where it starts kicking off. You got Capcom and Take Two Interactive. Uh, they will, unfortunately, I don't see any times for them right now. Uh, Tuesday is your Nintendo Direct and Treehouse Live, which is one of my personal favorites. I know, again, I know I said I shit on uh, Nintendo, but as I was, t- I was telling Chris during one of our personal conversations, I tend to keep my E3 on Treehouse Live. I don't know why. It's just I feel like I don't look at enough Nintendo that. The funny thing is that, like, I, I show Nintendo, but if you open up that closet, it's, like, packed with Nintendo shit, dude. So much Nintendo crap. Like, and and for those who don't know, like, that, I'm, I plan on putting a little video on Patreon about that. You'll see some of the stuff in there. It's some good stuff, I'll be honest with you. I'm not gonna, I'm not bullshitting you. Um, so, yeah, Nintendo's Direct, that's gonna start at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. That's a pretty good time. Uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, that's on Tuesday. I'm sorry, what is it? Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday? Oh, and then Bandai and Amco, I'm sorry, it's the same day, no time for them. Uh, I don't see anything for Wednesday, but Thursday shows EA Play Live. I don't think anybody really cares about that, but yeah, it's weird that no Wednesday, which is normal because if I'm not mistaken, E3 closes, it's like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and that's it. I don't think, Wednesdays, they're just showing and interviewing developers and games, and they're just not, they're not doing any more showcases. That is weird. But yeah, that they'll skip Wednesday, and then Thursday, you got... EA. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Like, it, it is weird. Yeah, I know. I, digital, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. Especially with the whole drama with Jeff Keighley and like them trying to like the them in the East. Is it the ESRB? Like since they like got new leadership going into it, so I think they're trying to play friendly with the developers, mm. but I think they're playing a little too friendly. You know what I'm saying? Like lock it down. Like make it. I feel like like. I'm happy for the trailers. I'm happy for the games. Um, I know there's like this little indie company that's like it's supposed to be like 15 minutes, and one of the video games they're going to be talking about is um you're starting you're you're rebuilding someone's cat cafe. Okay. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm so fucking interested in that fucking game. If it ends up being half decent. Please let it be on Game Pass or or on Xbox. I feel like it's only going to be PC. It sounds but I'm like, like a PC that, type of game. It sounds like a PC yeah. as hell game. 
Yeah, but the thing is, I'm like, that is so cute. I got, like, I picture, like, it's an old grandma and an old man. It's like, oh, we just lost the business, but we still have all these adorable cats. And I'm like, it's my job to build this cat cafe right the fuck up, bro. I'm like, you know. That's, like, that's I, so funny because, like, it's funny you mention that because that reminds me of a game. I don't even know the name of it, but I just remember hearing about it. Um, where it's like a, it's a game where you know in RPGs you play as like a hero or something like that, but this game you play as a shopkeeper, and like you go out and you see, like, you fight enemies and you you get stuff for your shop to help the hero out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a different take on the whole RPG hero. That's amazing. Right? Yeah. So that stuff like that's kind of cool. I, I like that too. Oh my god, that's that's how you do it. I wish I knew the name. They're... It sucks. It's uh, I can't remember it. Shopkeeper. And I gotta look it up because it's not doing it. That. But uh, you know, so I think you know, like when E3, it's crazy. It's the time of dreams. That's the thing I love about E3. People are like, uh, "Do we need E3 anymore?" I was like, "We don't need it, but it is hype as fuck." Right. You know what I'm saying? Like people, people sleep on hype for some reason. I don't like that attitude. I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't subscribe to it. Mm-hmm. All right. E3 is exciting. If people are gonna do some crazy shit, it happens at E3 because everyone's fighting for my attention. Now, I I agree, except for because like, what are you? What are the, your thoughts? Like, like Gamescom was getting bigger than E3 at one point. I don't know how it is now after you know what everything that's going down in the past you know two years or so, but you know like Gamescom is apparently is supposed to be just as huge if not bigger than E3. So like is E3 really the juggernaut that we think it is? Don't get me wrong, E3 has been losing steam. Right. But the thing is, it's easier to say the game Gamescom. Sure. I know that sounds dumb, but it matters when I say E3. Right. I feel like. We live in our bubble. People who watch us, probably, like, more of the hardcore gamer, like, you know what I'm saying? They understand E3. Gamescon sounds like a secondary thing, even though it's not. Like, unless you're more into the know. But E3 still has that, I'm going to use casual, but it has a more of an edible entry on the way in. It's an easy walk-in. The average gamer that plays, want, buys one or two games a year... You know, just turns it on and plays every once in a while and just has some fun. You know, like, a, you know, one of those gamers, E3 means something to them. And they don't give a shit about Gamescom. They think, like, ah, oh, whatever, yeah. blah, blah, blah. You know, even though we are like, oh, Gamescom, hell yeah, yeah. let's go. I watch yeah, I want that. I want Tokyo Game Show. I, don't, I watch them all. Yeah. But he's like, E3, oh, if anything happens, it probably going to happen at E3. But to, even if it's not true, it, it becomes true because it's how people perceive it. I got you. That's how I think about it. I could be wrong. Fair. But I don't think I am. Fight me about it, somebody. <laughs> anyway. So, Liquid. What's up? We had a little meeting. We had a little bit of a conversation. I want three predictions. Two of them fair. Sure. One of them crazy. Oh, I got you. It's funny you mentioned that. I thought of them today. I wrote them down. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, this is where all the magic happens. My Mario Luigi. Oh yeah, for those who think I'm not, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Nintendo hater. Look at my notebook. This is where the bro, 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 bro. Be Luigi. Be Luigi for me, bro. Be Luigi. No, no, no. But you put it over your face. But I need you to put it up. Like that? Is that put it like your mouth? I want to see your mouth. No, no, no. Oh, you want to see my up. mouth like this? Yes. Hey, what's up? This is Luigi with a beard. How does it look? <laughs> Is that not that bad? Not bad. Nice. It works for him. I like your Luigi accent. Yo, I'm Luigi. No, I'm Luigi. All right, I'm walking here. All right. I'm uh, walking here. I'm catching ghosts. <laughs> Where's Mario? Uh, anyway. see, so yeah, do you want to go like a back and forth? Like I give one, you give one. Nah, dude, I want all three, dude. Want I want all three for okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna hit you with all three. Um, so the first one, we're gonna start off with Nintendo because we're speaking about Nintendo. So. Nintendo. Here's what I feel like. I feel like they're gonna I'll, they're gonna show Breath of the Wild too, all right. But we're gonna get a little more specific than that, all right? Because that's just that's cheap, okay? So not only they're gonna show Breath of the Wild too, all right. They're gonna announce a release date with it, okay? And they're gonna show it on the new Nintendo Switch hardware, the Super Nintendo Switch, if you will. 
Super Ultra Nintendo Switch. Yeah, the the, the Super Nintendo Switch Pro Series X. Wow. So that's my, my first prediction, okay? Oh, okay. And that's not your crazy one. That's not even the crazy one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, I should have went first. This guy's blowing me out of the water. <laughs> the second one. Um, so we know Starfield, obviously we know we're going to hear about it. Um, but not only that, uh, I feel like it's not going to be an Xbox exclusive. Okay? Yeah, I'm going to go there. I feel like it's not going to be an Xbox exclusive. And then, what did I write? What did I write here? Uh, wait, this is not your crazy one? This is still not the crazy one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm like, maybe they're all crazy. Who knows? Crazy, who, who, you, you, how about this? Let the viewers pick the crazy one. I don't give a shit. All right? <laughs> all right, dude, that's fair, dude. You fucking, you're blowing my mind. I'm like, what is he talking about? Oh, man. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, let me see here. I'll be honest with you. I didn't even know what I wrote here. But all I know is that it's not going to be an Xbox exclusive. Um, and I think it's going to have a release of 2022. Okay. Um, and, and like, it's not going to be, I feel like it's not going to be, it's not going to blow anybody's socks off. Is what I'm, that's, that's like, like that's, that's like that. I feel like it's not going to blow anybody's socks off. All right. <laughs> all right, and then the, here goes my crazy one, all right? And because even though we know that Konami already said they're not going to be at E3, <laughs> fucking god, bro! You, you god, yo, these are my predictions, all right? Fuck you, let me have my predictions, goddamn it! <laughs> let me, let me dream, bro. So, okay, fuck it. Okay, god. God damn it. This guy's just shitting on everything. I'm, I, I'm throwing like dreams in the sky. Year? This guy has. Boom, that's bullshit. Boom, get the fuck out of here. Like, come on, bro. Like, my God. Dad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm shitting all over your predictions. You're 100% right, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, so, my God. Um, even though they said they're not going to be at E3, I think somehow we're going to find a way that Sony and Konami, that collab is going to happen. All right? With whether that but be... Sony's not even going to be at E3, you motherfucker. Hey, this is pie in the sky, bro. You can't fucking... You can't tell me I'm... I'm wrong. This is my. This is the one. This is the out there. This is the. But this the, the is the crazy. This shit. is the. This is the crazy prediction. All right. So Sony Konami, even though they're not gonna be there at all, somehow we will find out. All right. That they're gonna do a collab together, with whether that be Metal Gear, Silent Hill, or something. That that's what that's what I got for you. All right. Do with it what you will. I don't even know what to say to that. I don't even know. Say you're ready. I, well, we're gonna take a quick break because I have to take a super bad pee break. <laughs> look, I got you. I look. I say if you want to keep it streaming and keep it going. I just, I just can't. I this blew my. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna talk to the people. All right, because while Chris is gone using the bathroom, I just want to let you guys know this. Is, I don't think this is completely out of you know, like out of nowhere. I think this would work. I mean, it may not be a hundred percent to the T, but I think we got something. All right, clearly, Breath of the Wild two is gonna happen. Like we're gonna see something. We have to. All right, would that be? Was it a release date gonna come out for it? I don't know. Maybe I think so. Um, and then the new Nintendo Switch, as I've, I've told you guys about it last week, there's it's not news. We know it's going to happen. Is it going to show any three? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But I think they will. And I think it's going to come out or it's going to be announced for sometime this year. Um, so yeah. So that's the Nintendo one. I don't think that's pretty crazy. Nintendo Breath of the Wild two release date and the new Nintendo Switch all in one. Why not? Uh, the second one, sure that maybe that might not be that. that maybe that might be a little more unrealistic. You know, Starfield, it being a little lackluster, sure, that's not going to... I'm sure they're going to knock it out the park. Uh, 2022, that's realistic. I think that's a good uh, That's a good date. Uh, yeah, but as yeah, far it's as it, realistic. I, I, like I, but when... as far as it not being an exclusive, sure, that might be a little crazy, but hey, whatever. Yeah, but let's, it's let's Xbox get a little, slash Bethesda. Let's, let's get a little crazy. Okay, this fucking guy, bro. I'm glad that... This, this, is, this is my partner in crime, by the way, guys. Yeah. This is this is this is what this man thinks. The man thinks the impossible. He's like, hey, you know the people that said they weren't gonna be here, um, they're actually gonna be here, and they're just gonna drop a nega nuke worth of news. Well, well, Chris, I'll be honest with you. About a month and a half ago, I didn't know how to edit, but here I am now. All right, so you know, liquid. 
editing liquid pisses me off because that motherfucker <laughs> he makes a lot of sense. Fuck that motherfucker. Anyway. So mine are a little I'm gonna say a little more tame because you were crazy. Bro, man. I was, but I was thinking I was doing them today. I was writing them down and I was just like, dude, you know what? I'm going balls to the fucking wall right now. <sighs> well, well okay, I'm gonna start off with the two calm ones, okay? Um <laughs> I, you know, I don't think for Nintendo, we're act- I don't think um, we're going to get a, a release date for uh, for uh, the, the, the second game, Breath of the Wild 2. I don't, really? I, for some reason, like, I don't think they're going to. I don't okay. think they want to give that to E3. Any reason why? I, because Nintendo just does Nintendo as shit. Okay. I feel like they don't want to fight for the attention. I feel like they want to do that kind of thing themselves. Right. Like, hey, bro, it's Tuesday, by the way. Here's Breath of Wild coming out this day, and here's gameplay of it. Fair. Um, that's how I feel about it. What I like, because you have to remember, Skyward Sword still needs to come out. Yeah, Even I, though, I completely forgot about Skyward Sword. Everyone else has too. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel bad, and I don't think that's why. Another reason why I don't think they're gonna shoot themselves in the foot. Because Skyward Sword is going to be a hard sell when everyone wants Breath of the Wild. Don't get me wrong, I say hard sell, people are going to still buy Zelda. It's just, it's just you know. You don't think, what if, they do, what if they do, like, uh, oh yeah, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out in, you know, in a few months, but right now you can download Skyward Sword? I think that would be the smartest thing to do, actually. Absolutely. Because that's like, if they shadow drop it, be like, bro, you can download it tonight or right. something like that. And just like, let the. Let the hype hit. Let the hype sell your video game, cause that'll work. People are like, bro, I need to, I need to hang out with Zelda. That dude is cool. Right. All right. <laughs> yeah, him and <laughs> Zelda and all his glory. Zelda and all his man glory. You know what I'm saying? Can't stress enough. Zelda's a dude. Anyway, um, <laughs> you know what I'm leaning into. It. Yeah, Zelda's a dude. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you right. know. Anyway, uh, all right. So I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, my my second one. This is for me, and it's been it's been um it's been leaked that Halo's gonna it's been leaked. Right. Bunny ears. That Halo is gonna be ten minutes. It's gonna start to show, and it's gonna be multiplayer centric. All right. This has been leaked. That's not that's not what I think. Okay. I do think it's gonna be multiplayer. I think it is gonna start to show. But I think we're gonna get a scissor reel of some campaign, you know, to show that the graphics aren't. I don't think they're gonna need to be improved. I think they need to be smoothed out. Right. Less, All right. So it should be less Fortnitey. No, fuck no. Okay. No, I I feel like people think it's, and I don't know why you would say it's Fortnitey. I don't know uh, why you say what, that. A lot of people on the internet were saying that. Oh, well, a lot of well, Halo has. A, one day we're gonna I'm gonna rebring up Halo because I talk about Halo too much, but like it's one of these things where it's just like <laughs> like poor bastard. <laughs> He's like, who are you telling? Yeah. <laughs> but like and Halo's uh, coming up next week. We know that. <laughs> but I think it's gonna. I think we're gonna get. It's either gonna be shadow drop for the demo that night. Um. Or we're going to get a release date for a beta that leads into the game. We're going to get a date. Yeah. We're going to get a date, which is going to be November, because we all know it's the 20th anniversary. But we're going to get a date date and a beta date. It's a solid prediction. It doesn't shadow drop. Huh? This is a solid prediction. Yeah. And last but not least, and I feel bad because I said you were crazy and I was talking shit. But I think Sony, before Xbox does something, they're gonna they're gonna do something. I think so too. I have. A I think they're gonna try too. to take some of that shine away. <laughs> I really think they will too. I really think so. And um, yeah, whether it be like, hey guys, we have a new SKU for PS5s, like something that's not even video game related, right. but something that purchases like PlayStation, bro, you want this shit and be like, man, dude, I do want it, like something of that level. Yeah. I think we're gonna get something. I think we're gonna get something Sony, at least right before Xbox comes out. I think they're gonna just go straight for the ankles because I think Sony is that Sony arrogant PS. I think right now they're in that PS2 heading to PS3 area, like they're they're ego level, level okay. ten. Do they deserve it still? 
maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But that's what I think is going to happen. Yeah, I don't feel like we don't walk away this with. I don't think Sony's just gonna let all this when the when when the world's eyes are on video games that we're just gonna not hear about Sony. Right. You know. Okay. That, that those are my predictions. Yeah, pretty safe predictions. How about you grow some balls, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me say this: Legends of the Dragoon oh, confirmed. Oh no. <laughs> dude, could you in spring 2022, bro? There it is, dude. Bro, I said if, it. if that should happen, I will definitely donate twenty dollars to the Patreon, bro. Of my own money. If that, bro, if that happens, I'll be mad that we didn't record me because I think I'd fucking cry. That would be nuts. Oh, the, all right, yeah. That Legends would be are nuts. never gonna happen though. It's just not gonna no, happen. I, I agree. It, yeah. Just stop it. Right. Like it's one of those things. Like people hold out hope, and I want to hold that torch with you. Every now and then I right play now? it on my Vita, but yeah, that's about it. That's as far as it's gonna go. Oh, double slash. Anyway, the real ones know what I'm talking about. Okay, no. Anyway, <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, all right. So that mm-hmm. about wraps it up. My man Dart. Yeah. Oh, Dart. Dart Rose and the gang. Guys, yet again, thank you so much for watching us. Look at another great episode. It was I a great episode. Like. Our longest episode, I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, I did. It's gonna be we need, awesome. okay. hey. Yeah, we need, to, we need to slow this down because yeah. we're getting crazier it's, every it's, week. It's pre-E3. You know what I'm saying? Like, expect fire. There's going to be fire videos coming out next week. So <laughs> There's going to be shorter fire. videos. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get shorter videos. For those of you who complain that the videos are too long, all right, I better not hear no fucking complaining this time. But anyways, oh, nice. yeah. Justin, except for you, but everyone else, you better calm your shit. Right. Agreed. All right. By the way, our patrons below support the dream, guys. We're out here. We're doing it. Like, just go down there. Just a buck. It's a buck. There's a custom thing. You can donate whatever you want. Just a dollar. Right. Oh, we're asking for is a dollar. If you could give more, by all means. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to yeah. stop you. You know? Yeah, we're not gonna stop it. <laughs> but, but yeah, like we we want to make it more affordable. We want everybody to be able to to just get into it, and we want to be able to provide more content. So, uh, you know, want to throw it out there. Um, I guess I guess this is gonna be my these are my closing statements here. But uh, yeah, um, on that, thank you for everyone who has already. You know, again, thank you so much for everyone who's donated to the Patreon, who's subscribed to the Patreon. Uh, like Chris said, his description is gonna be in the on the below. Uh, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. Like I said, expect more. Uh, expect more content to come out. It's gonna be pretty busy next week, and we're gonna we plan on more things for the Patreon. So uh, the more and more we see, the more and more we'll be able to provide. Um, uh, other than that, love each other. Take care. Uh, happy Pride Month. Final Pride. Oh month. yeah. So I was gonna say something about that right at the end. The reason I uh, like. I didn't even bring it up to Liquid, but the reason why we don't have a rainbow thing for the microtransaction, I just, I feel personally, it's a little like disgenuine when companies do that I do and too. stuff like that. And I just like that's not a good look. Like we support, like hey, you know how you support, like like we're both two straight dudes. You know what I'm saying? You know how we support? Don't be a dick. Sure. Yeah, like like let people love who they want to love. Right. It is what it is. Yeah. I don't want to put up a, a rainbow flag that has creases in it because it's been away for so long. So, like that's what Bro. it is. The companies they pull up a, a flag and you're just like, oh look at all the creases in that flag. Oh, it looks like you just put that shit up there. Okay. Come yeah, on, like uh, it's just disgenuine, not true. Just you know, Pride Pride Month is every month, dude. Just like you know, like I feel like it, like it, it gets this in this weird area where people don't want to like support. Like they like, oh, if I support if I try to support. Pride Month, are people going to think I'm gay? I'm like, first of all, that's your problem right there. Like, if someone were to consider you gay, why is that a bad thing? It's not yeah. a bad thing. It like, it's just like, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm straight. It's just like, no, nah, just like, We care be cool. too much about what pe- other people think. Exactly, guys. Don't worry about that shit. Anyway, just remember, love each other. We're, we all grew up being nerds. We're outcasts. We started in only gaming recently has been mainstream. Like, remember our roots. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep that keep that same energy. Like I said, we're outcasts. Castaways. Yeah. We are castaways. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys. Yet again, Patreon's down low. Please support if you can. If you can spare a buck, that's okay too. Like, subscribe, share. We are on Instagram. We're getting. We're, we're loading up content for TikTok. We're coming at you, dude. It's like you. This is. By the way, this. This is. This is the easy times. Um, yes. more content, more happiness, more, more microtransaction. Right. And we know you guys want it, and we're here to give it to you. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you again. We love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Peace.